Hey everyone, so today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I thought it would be fun to do a little office tour. I love watching these um, videos on YouTube, so I thought you might find it interesting to see a little bit of behind the scenes of the Planner Spot shop. So this is my desk area, and so I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I did not tidy it up. I mentioned before in previous videos that um, when it comes to my workspace, I am super tidy. My desk always looks pretty much like this, but for um, like full transparency, I'll show you the rest of my house around my desk area does not look like this. So just to give you some context, this is like a two level type house. So down there is our like living room and then you go up the stairs and then this is our desk or office area so this is my corner this is my husband's corner he tries to keep it as neat as possible and then this is my five-year-old soon to be six-year-old daughter's corner she likes to play near mommy even though she has her own play space she always likes to be next to mommy so all her stuff is here and I've kind of given up tidying up because once I tidy it up like five minutes later it's like this again so I just let her keep her stuff here usually like jackets and stuff are not there but I wanted to just film and just show you the real deal here we have this humongous bean bag here in the office area that all four of us like to cuddle up on and be on our devices or just cuddle and talk or whatever over there you see a pile of boxes because we've been getting a lot of shipments in, getting ready for um, the monthly subscription and just regular orders. I need a bunch of supplies. And over there is like our dining room and then over there around the corner is our kitchen. So yeah, this area is always usually pretty nice and neat. And that's all I have control over and the rest of the house, you know, you kind of have to let go. So I guess what I'll do is I'll start over here. Um, I kind of been growing and extending. I'm actually, I need some more space so we might get like a table, work table to go here in the middle and then boot my daughter out. <laughs> um, but I've been kind of like going around here, going around the corner because I need more space. So this is just some um, supplies of this is a box, a surprise for PlannerCon coming up. Um, some things I'm going to do with that. And then this little cart has my bubble mailers, my rigid mailers, and my flat bags for the sub, cello bags, some tape, and stickers. Just This is pretty much all for packaging. Um, and then here, let me kind of step over my daughter's toys. Here is my first shelf and all of these plastic bins contain our inserts. So the bottom row is A5 inserts. This row is personal size inserts and this row is um, pocket size inserts. And then up here I have three um, Cameo machines, um, a laminator, some foil, I have just this paper sorter, which has sticker paper and mailing labels in there. And then on this side, I have two portraits there. And then on top, I just keep some orders that need I need to do things with. I keep them there. And then these are some stickers that I printed that need to be cut. This um, paper sorter is just like my inbox. The top has like personal and family stuff that I need to do. This shelf has the planner spot stuff I need to do. This is just paper, extra paper um, that I use to print my own personal inserts when I need some. And then this little drawer, I use actually the lid of those um, like cardboard photo boxes from Michaels. I just use the lid as a drawer. And here I have just some personal size inserts and dividers and stuff that I grab when I need to use it for my own personal planner. 
And then this little drawer is just some supplies for um, packaging inserts for the shop. And then these two binders I have, um, I guess I'll share more later, but these are just like old um, sticker kits from 2017, 20, no, no, wait, 20, yeah, 2017, 2018, and 2019, you know, like January and February, March of 2019. And then this um, binder has our subs. So I need to print some. I just been kind of, I just started compiling this, but this has like the subscriptions from September 2018 when we started to current, just so I have like a reference of what we've done in past sticker kits and subscription kits so that's what I keep there in these bins I keep journaling cards which were low um, I just started like collecting journaling cards to put in the shop so I have some there on the desk but this is empty right now I'm planning to bring some page flags to the shop but I'm having a hard time finding a um, someone who that can do it for me but I have a space reserved because I'm determined to bring page flags to the shop this is for um, sticky notes which we just sold out of so I'm going to design some more and restock those and then down here is for notepads and we're really low I need to order um, some more notepads for the shop but that's what that is for and then this one this bin is for all um, our a la carte stickers and I have them like labeled or you know like the little sticker on the tab so I know what's in each little section and then this one is for our kits and this one is um, usually only has a few sticker sheets in it because I print on demand so as I get orders I print them and then any extras I just kind of keep in here but I am trying to move to a um, like ready to ship kind of process so hopefully I'm going to start filling these in so it'll always be stocked so as you order I can just they're already set I could just pop them in the mailer and send them to you this little bin is for sub extra so here's the um, January sub extras and then this one down here is just kind of for extra projects that are coming up and then this is another lid that I use so I like to use lids for kind of like drawers and this one is from one of those big like I think it's 12 by 12 kind of boxes and I just use the lid to store my um, cutting mats and extra like paper Let's see There's paper down there somewhere down there oh yeah you can see there um, paper acetate and stuff like that and then I have this this is actually two drawers I got from Hobby Lobby and then I use this for supplies and I always see here again I use box lids or little boxes for like um, storage and like sorting things because I like everything kind of nice and neat so that's just miscellaneous supplies here I have electronics cords sprocket and then here I have I have a whole drawer for sticky notes because I didn't realize how obsessed I am with sticky notes until I organized this drawer and realized I needed a whole drawer for sticky notes but I have like Someone's from Target, someone's I ordered, Peanuts Planner Co., some just plain white ones that I can print my own um, designs on. These like pink ones are from Cloth and Paper. Then I have these from Cloth and Paper, these um, concrete ones. And then I have, these are my favorite. So these are from like the Happy Planner brand from Michaels, but I don't think you could get it there anymore. I got it from, I think, scrapbook.com. And then these are like from Kaiser Craft or Kaiser Style or whatever they're called. Um, I have a few each of those because those are my favorite sticky notes. And then I have this one. Um, I got from a local stationery or scrapbooking store that is only like locally. So I don't know where you can get this elsewhere, but super cute. 
Yeah, so I'm pretty obsessed with sticky notes. I love them for just popping little notes and reminders in my planner. And then in this section, I have some notebooks, some notepads, and then miscellaneous, like here's some planner cards and stickers, some more stickers from other shops and pockets and stuff like that. So yeah, I just have a little stash there. Um, I really downsized my planner stash, so except for the <laughs> except for the sticky notes. And then in this little bin here, I have my label maker, my hole punches, my small cutting board, some punch boards, and then let me show you what I have down below. Down there, I have just a plastic bin um, with some extra, there's this big plastic bin and then there's a couple of smaller ones in there. Some Ikea bags for taking orders to um, the post office. Those are those huge Ikea bags that can hold probably like 100 rigid mailer orders in there. Um, I have a return I have to do. Some just extra like D stash, you know, like um, leftover stickers, glitch stuff and just extra supplies there and then I have my big cutting board here and two foam, foam boards there that I use for videos and taking pictures and then here's the top of my desk I guess I'll show you the wall first here's my vision board which I haven't worked on for 2019 yet so it's kind of blank but um I just like to put inspirational and motivational things here. I have my 2019 calendar. A lot of people always ask me where I get that, where I got that, and that's, I got it, originally got one from Office Depot, but then this, last year I got it from Office Depot. This year I got it from Target. It's cheaper at Target, so um, I think it was like half the price maybe even, or something like that, but this is from Target. Um, I have just a little collection of journals and books here. So I have Style Your Mind by Kara Awoleba, um, which is like a workbook for like personal development, I guess. Um, and then Style Your Mind for Success, which is the same concept, but for like entrepreneurs. Um, back here, I have, this is from Target, um, Traveler's Notebook. And I haven't started in this yet. I kind of talked about this in my 2019 planner lineup, but basically I'm using this to, for like memory keeping basically. And so I have that there. So here in this little clear sorter that I got from like Goodwill, I keep just uh, my miscellaneous planners besides my everyday planner. This is my moleskin journal, which I use for like ideas and quotes and stuff. This is my still planner, which I use for wellness journaling. This is my sticker book. Um, those of you who are subscribed to our um, monthly stationery kit got this. I forget what month it was. November, something like that. Um, got this little sticker book. And so this is where I keep all my stickers. I'll go more into detail with, oops with my sticker collection um, in a future video. I just have some miscellaneous things here because I'm printing stickers for orders and then these freebie um, journaling cards which um, we were giving out for any orders this past weekend um, just as a little promotion. Here I have uh, my washi drawer and I'm not a big washi tape user so I don't know how I got this much washi and why I got this much washi and why I needed a drawer but there's something about the simply gilded bow washi I'm not one to really like totally follow trends and be on the bandwagon of stuff and I know simply gilded washi is kind of like that for people I'm not one to really follow those but there is something about the simply gilded bow washi in particular I don't know I'm addicted to it so this is like I've been slowly very very slowly building up this collection over the past many many months but um, this is what I have so far and before it was just in a simple little 
tray on my desk and then it grew bigger so I got this little drawer and I just really love the way it looks. It's so pretty. It makes me happy every time I look at it. And as you can see, I got mostly like grays, blacks, whites, nudes, and then pinks colors. And then I got this floral, um, this floral, and then I have a couple more that's waiting for me at the post office. But it's just so pretty. I love it so much. And then I have this light box from Huddy Swap. This is Dream Girls and Co. And then the little motto for Dream Girls and Co. Be the girl of your dreams. Um, I love looking at that every day on my desk. I have this little um, squeezable. Is that what it's called? I stole it from my <laughs> from my five year old daughter because it's so cute and squishy, and they're scented, so it smells good too. So I stole that from her, and it's on my desk. I always keep water on my desk. I have this little glitter nail polish. Um, I don't really wear nail polish. You probably have noticed if you watch my videos, but every so often I like to just because I want to be extra. And if I'm wearing nail polish, I don't know why um, I'm always drawn to glitter nail polish <laughs> because it's kind of subtle, but then kind of like bling. I don't know. So I keep that there just because I don't know why, but I have this little um, what is this called? What is it? Rose quartz that I got as a gift. I keep that for good vibes. I have this little crown that I got on a greeting card, which I like to remind myself that I'm like a creative queen. I have this hustle and heart mug with all my most used like writing utensils and scissors in here. I got this little poof ball pen for my husband um, as part of my stocking stuffer for this past Christmas. And so I thought it was a little it was cute there for a little pop of color. I always have my iPad mini on my desk for watching videos while I work. My MacBook Pro. I always keep a little stash of like a notepad and sticky notes here for writing quick notes down. I always have my planner out on my desk so I can look at my schedule and check off things as I go. I usually have like a magazine here because I'm always falling behind on my magazine. So there's always something there that I need to read. So I subscribe to Vogue and I think I just Vogue right now. Some, it, you know, sometimes it's other magazines, but I think right now it's just Vogue. I have this printer here in the middle and then just regular printer paper that I use for printing like invoices. Um, oh, I have this little marble file box for just documents. I got that at Target. There's always little hole punch holes on the floor. No matter how much I clean it up, they always appear. And then our little garbage bins. It's full and yucky looking right now, but I really like how these garbage bins, which are like these cloudy, clear bin, plastic bins, match the ones on my shelves. And so one for recycling, one for just garbage. And then just some ink there, my Google Mini. And that's about it. Then my husband works over here and my daughter plays over here. My other daughter is always upstairs in her room. And yeah, so that's it. That's my little office area. Like I said, I'm kind of outgrowing it, so I don't know what what I'll do next, but I really like it for now. I like um, how clean and white everything is. I like that aesthetic. And it's just my little happy place. The Planner Spot headquarters or the Dream Girls and Co headquarters. And yeah, feel free to ask any questions in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time. Bye.